Uh, well, I do. I sing a little bit in Spanish in, in Familiar when Jay's yeah. not around. I kind of fill in for him. Okay. It's like, J. Balvin. Um, <laughs> that's my little impression. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I, I I would definitely I'm try, I'm gonna learn Aurora. It's my my thing. Eh, la canción de Aurora de J Balvin es la que la que lo está enseñando ciertas cosas. Nada más se sabe ciertas son las horas. Hey, no, no, no. I, I need to look at the words if I sing the rest of it. I can't y que sing mucha it gente le ha preguntado que si que si la música hispana va a quedarse como impregnada como está ahorita después de despacito que despacito la lanzó muchísimo pues a todas partes del mundo este y pues él dice que sí que que eso espere que le gustaría seguir trabajando con con gente habla hispana yes hello Liam here hello uh, can, can you talk about more about the the new album I mean the producers and maybe the title of the album and oh my goodness now you're asking <laughs> um, the title is uh, I haven't really confirmed it yet so I don't want to I say a lot of things, like there's a thing at the moment, I said One Direction would come back in 2020. Did I know that? Not really, I just kind of said it because I thought I might be right, so I'll have a go. Uh, and these things stick with me, so I don't want to say the name yet, because just in case it does change again, because then I just look like, a, uh, what is going on? Um, in terms of producers, I mean, starting off with somebody uh, like Steve Mack, he won Producer of the Year at the Brit Awards, um, and he has made songs like, I think he did, it wasn't anywhere for, for Rita Roy, he did another one for Rita that I wanted to steal off her, but she took it down. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we had like a thing over a song, I was like, I want that song, can you yeah. give it me? She was like, no, absolutely not. Um, <laughs> so yeah, he's made some fantastic songs. I got to work with a guy, a guy called Oak, uh, who was a really big hip hop producer. And my thing is, if I'm working with a producer who makes hip hop, I'm gonna make hip hop, it's happening. Um, there's another one, uh, who else did I work with that was fantastic? But that's my thing really, I guess, what I'm saying. A lot of the producers that I've had, they're unique to their certain styles. And this is why my album kind of varies in a lot of different types of music. Because I don't want to go into like, I don't know, I wouldn't make Jay make it like a weird opera song. that just wouldn't right. go together. So, you know, when I use a producer, I make sure that they, they do what they do because that's what they do best. Um, so there is like almost like rappier songs on that album. Um, as well in different beats and that's kind of where I started off I think when you're a solo artist and you want to make something a bit different you kind of really go this way and I started off and some of it was like really rappy and it was like this is a little bit too much so you kind of just come back into the middle until you hit the sweet spot and then that's when you start to make the best parts of your album um, and that takes a while but I think everyone goes too far left to start off with uh, yeah le preguntaron que si por favor podía dar un poco más de detalles del álbum. Dijo que no puede dar el nombre porque no sabe si ese va a ser el nombre. Que incluso él siempre, la, él siempre ha dicho que One Direction va a estar juntos en el 2020, pero pues que todavía tampoco sabe. Así que por eso se arriesga a decir que no sabe. Y, este, y que el álbum va a tener mucho, o sea, que tiene muy buenos productores. Que él básicamente, músicas que él escucha, trata de como que seducir por allá al productor y ha trabajado con ciertos productores como Oak, ¿right? Is that the name? Yeah, isn't it? Like, like the tree. Como, como el árbol. Oak se escribe. Entonces, sí. <laughs> He's a big guy as well. He's like yeah, a tree. He's, <laughs> <laughs> He's huge. Que es tan alto como un árbol. ¿Alguien más? ¿Quién sigue? Hi, right here. Hi, Hello, again. at the back. What's happening? Hi, how are you again? Um, well, to have so many followers that uh, they are from 18 to 22, and we are very close to the, um, the presidential elections, they are about right. to vote in Mexico. What's the best advice that you could give them about going to vote and be involved in what's going on in the future in the country? Now, I don't know much about Mexico in terms of, <laughs> of uh, uh, that sort of thing, but in terms of politics, but I would say when you vote, I mean, go with what you think is right, rather than... I, I think a lot of people will talk to people and you'll get a vibe off somebody, but there's often a lot of people who don't really know what they're talking about, they just pretend to. So I think definitely, like, research your stuff if you're going to vote for someone, like, make sure you know what's going on. Um, obviously, in the UK, we've had some crazy different votes for Brexit and all sorts of different things, and then, you know, uh, which is really tough to decide on, because I don't know what the hell goes on with that stuff. Um, you know, something that I definitely want to pay attention to in later life, but at the moment for me right now, it's hard to remember my own name sometimes. So uh, I kind of struggle with that. But I, I think, you know, you do your, you have the internet, you have your research, uh, you know, you have to trust your sources and then vote who you want to vote for. And happy voting. Le preguntan and vote que... for me as well, true. <laughs> if I might say, I can do a job on something. And help que tiene, tiene muchos followers que por primera vez van a, van a poder votar <laughs> y como muchos de ustedes saben, 
pues ya se acercan las elecciones y le mm -hmm. preguntan que qué que, que consejo le puede dar a todos estos chavos. ¿Qué consejo le puede dar a todos estos chavos? ¿Qué consejo le puede dar a todos estos chavos? Oh, right. Ok, no, 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 y pues que cada quien tiene que hacer su propio, tiene que buscar su información, ¿no? Que allá el internet tiene que votar por quien sea, pero pues que salgan a votar y que voten por él. I hope it goes well. Who are you voting for? Uh, you're not supposed to ask that, actually. No, Don't tell no. me. No, <laughs> Don't tell me. Hey, Liam. Hello. Over there. How are you? Welcome I'm to good, Mexico. Thank you. Thank you. Well, talking about, talking, uh, about politics, well, I'm not talking about politics, but a few uh, weeks ago, the whole world got to see the royal wedding. Yes. So I want to know what do you think about it. Are you friends with uh, Prince Harry and Meghan? <laughs> and is it true that they made fun of you when you were singing? Well, you know that. <laughs> um, well, I don't think anyone's ever given like a, you know, safe or respect in the Royal Abbey before. So I think that kind of surprised them. But I like my band and I wanted to say well done. That's the thing for me. So I was just saying well done. But I think they thought that was quite weird or funny because I was like, so in the, in the Royal Abbey, it's like, it's not the place to do that at all. It's like <laughs> the place to do this and bow and there's all sorts of rules about what you call the Queen and stuff. Um, I've met the Royal Family a number of times. I've been really lucky to do so. I thought it was never something I would ever do. Um, and I really like them. I think people forget that they have quite a tough job on because everyone's watching. Uh, and I know what that feels like a little bit, not to their extent now, because I think that, you know, the stuff that they do is very, very serious, very serious work with different charities. For example, you know, the Queen, you know, running the Commonwealth, uh, you know, they're going after a, a thing where they're trying to, you know, cure five curable types of blindness, which is an amazing thing to do. So I have massive respect for the royal family. Uh, I think they get a bit of a hard time of it sometimes in the, in the UK, and I don't think it's really fair. You know, I think they're just trying to be good people and... It's fair enough to them. Le preguntan de la boda real que si conoce a, a la familia real. Él dice que ha tenido la oportunidad de, de conocerlos en algunas ocasiones. Que es una familia a quien él respeta porque pues viven debajo de una lupa, ¿no? Que están constantemente viendo cada movimiento. Que él se siente eh, identificado con eso a una muy pequeña escala, no tanto como ellos, pero que respeta mucho a, a, pues, a la familia real. Chicos, vamos a hacer la última pregunta. Adelante, por favor. Hi, Liam. Um, just Hello. one question. In the near future, do you see doing a duet with the, any of the One Direction members in case you don't come together in... Dun, 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 in case we don't come together, don't say that. We'll be after you and stuff, man. Um, I definitely think we will come out together, but for the sake of the question, um, I would love to do a duet with one of the boys if the right song came along. I don't see any reason why I wouldn't, you know. I, I know our voices work quite well together. And I know what they're like on stage. I mean, uh, like I say, it's been amazing to watch their difference. Like, if, I, if I was going to pick a song I would sing, um, I would probably pick Slow Hands. I like Slow Hands. It's a good song. Um, it's fantastic. I mean, it, just to see all these different styles of music coming out. And I've heard all of Louise's album, by the way, which is really, really, really good. I'm not going to tell you too much because it's not my business. Um, but yeah, I think we will come back together. In my head, I have a dream, and it's nice to still dream at this point, even though everything's so fantastic, of like the five of us coming back together, putting on a concert all together where we can play like a little mini One Direction festival. I mean, this thing can go on for days. Um, but I think it's really important if we get this bit right now, because the more songs that we have, the longer the concert is. So, I mean, you know, it's like a long wait for a big, big concert. And then that would be amazing to do like you know, have something that featured so many different styles of music, uh, all of us back together doing our thing. Um, but right now, you know, everyone's kind of given each other space. We spend a lot of time together, and I think it's important that we don't tread on each other's toes. It's nice to have something that's yours. If you're, you know, I mean, you must know what it feels like sometimes if you have a sibling and they're doing the same thing as you, and you're like, well, I'm always doing that, why are you doing that? You know what I mean? You kind of, everybody wants their own space, I feel, uh, and they deserve respect in their own right for what they do, because they're very good at it, you know? So I, I think that's that's mainly the reason. It's not because like, we're not friends or any stuff like that. It's just, you know, five years together is a long, long time, uh, especially when we didn't know each other. So, I mean, we'll see what the future holds. I'm not going to say any dates because I'm already in trouble once. I will be in trouble again. And, yes. <laughs> le preguntaron que si, dado que no se, que no se volvieran a juntar eh, los One Directions, que si le gustaría hacer un dueto con alguno de sus compañeros, dijo que sí, que obviamente le gustaría, 
pero que él sí siente, o sea, sí cree, no quiere dar fecha, no quiere decir nada más, pero que sí le gustaría que se vuelva, un, que se vuelva a unir la banda y que uno de sus sueños es tener un concierto súper grande y majestuoso con todas las canciones de One Direction. Super y que grande. Tra- super grande. Like it. Yeah. Sorry. <ríe> eh, todas las canciones de One Direction, incluyendo canciones que ellos están haciendo ahorita, pero que ahorita cada quien está muy bien con sus propios espacios haciendo las cosas que ellos están haciendo por sí solos. You need to raise, man. You're so good. Right? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Muchas gracias. That was it. Yeah. That was it. Well, thank you. How about that? Thank you. That was great. Um, good questions. Thank you, sir. Um, yeah. Can I just say a massive thank you to all of my Mexican fans and people who showed up for me for the last few days. Uh, it's been a real lot of fun for me, something I'll definitely uh, never forget. And I've been sending a lot of great videos uh, home as well for my friends and family to see because it's such a beautiful thing when you show up. So. Thank you very much, and I'll be back soon. Uh, Mexico te amo, I think is what you say. Thank you.